who's going to join Luke Campbell in the final of the men's bantamweight division. Well, Cuba go up against Tajikistan, and the Tajikistani boxer here has already reason to celebrate because this young man, Anya Yusinov, seeded six coming into this world championship, had a fantastic day here yesterday in the draft for the World Series of Boxing. The young Tajikistan boxer was one of the hottest properties that the 12 teams were looking for. He was one of the first picks to be made. And, uh, well, he is absolutely delighted, Yusinov, to be heading off to the World Series of Boxing and boxing for Moscow Dynamo. 24 years of age, very much a rising star, as is the country of Tajikistan in the sport of boxing. Most importantly for this young lad, the Asian Championships number one in Ichon. Took top spot there beat Otkan Dali to take that gold medal and the Cuban chasing these major championships they bring a new name at every one and uh, this year it's Lazario Alvarez 20 year old out of Havana and earned his spot to these world championships by winning in great style I have to say the 2011 Pan American Games qualifier so understandably the more experienced of the two is Yusinov, three times a national champion, a competitor at the Olympics of 2008. This is his third World Championships. But let's look carefully at Alvarez. Yusinov in the red. Alvarez for Cuba in the blue corner. And Alvira, Alvarez, I should say, excuse me, Alvarez. He's unbelievably fast with his combinations. Lightning speed. But of course, Yusinov, a seasoned campaigner. He's got a very, very good guard, and he's got an equally effective counter-attack as well, as you see just there. And Yusinov, brimming with confidence, having been the star pick of yesterday's WSB draft. Picks off some nice early points against the Cuban. Cuban seems to have a slightly better reach, certainly taller, and a standoff style. No major upsets in the pathway for these two boxers to get to these semi-finals. Both have looked good, both have scored consistently. Yusinov doing some good blocking work there. And... Yusinov. He's done his homework here. He's clearly done his homework on the style of Alvarez. Because he's keeping out of trouble. Good jab work. And I'm sure Yusinov is determined to prove to his new team and teammates that he is a worthwhile selection. And of course, the World Series of Boxing, the semi professional tour, no head guards, no vests. And it kicks off in early November around the world with the 12 teams all matched up against each other. And as we said in our last bout, five rounds rather than three. If you get a chance to catch it, I would highly recommend. The Cuban still. As always with the Cuban boxers, the most successful nation in the history of the Amateur World Boxing Championships. And it all began in Cuba, fittingly so, back in 1974 in Havana, where the gentleman from the blue corner boxes out of. Alvarez looking to emulate Felix Savant, perhaps the best amateur boxer of all time. Very closely matched. I think it's fair to say it'll be interesting to take a look at some of the slow mo replays. Yusinov certainly scoring the points early on in the bout. But the Cuban certainly not affecting his confidence, not flustered by it at all. 
Let's wait for the graphic that gives us the official scores. Again, flurry of punches and combinations, but not getting through the block of the Cuban boxer. There's the jab that's picking off the points. Let's see if we can see. Oh, and there, a lovely work from the jab and a good hook. As expected, very close. Three each. No changes. Or no advantage, I should say, going into the second round. And I think this is going to be the manner of the day. This is the way it's going to start unfolding through most of these semi-finals. The boxers evenly matched. Very similar start to this first round as in the previous semi-final where Luke Campbell just in the third and final round got the better of Nevin from Ireland. And Yusinov crouching, trying to tempt in the Cuban. Not sure whether the corner will think that Yusinov is maybe showing Alvarez a little bit too much respect. But his jab and his hook. His main point scorer at the moment. Alvarez with a big right hook. Now, both boxers. Yunusov now. Starting to look for a few more. Good jab. Good counter jab there from Tajikistan. Boxer. Again, these two are so evenly matched. Alvarez so desperate to try and get those combinations working. But where you have to give Anya Yusinov credit where it's due. His defence is so quick. And he's denying the Cuban the opportunity to hit that target. That's a little bit more like it from Alvarez. It's getting through. Counter, and it's the counter attack that's working so well for the red corner. Combinations coming fast and thick here now from the Cuban. Just over 40 seconds to go on this second round. Just like the first, good exchanges from both. Better work from Alvarez. End of the second round. Closer. Better finish in that second round for the Cuban. Tying, remember, in the first of three points each. There's a good strike and a good counter from the red boxer. There was one exchange which a flurry of punches. I think it's this one. There's a good one too. There's the again from the Cuban. Now a lot of punches thrown, not all of them scoring, but certainly a couple were. Let's see how the round looks after six minutes or two. Well, trouble now. What a great round for Lazaro Alvarez of Cuba, drawing two points clear now at 10 to 8. And the new kid on the block to the World Series of Boxing, Anya Yusinov, has got work to do. He may have taken the Asian Championships earlier this year in great style. But the newcomer from Havana, as so often is in the case, they just have this ability to produce boxer after boxer after talent after talent. 
and it looks like they've provided us with another. And with that two-point advantage now, Lazaro Alvarez is looking a little more confident, isn't he? The urgency, understandably so, switched to the red corner. And the boxer in blue, who's leading for Cuba, just needs to put together some of those fast. And there they are again. That's a lovely one-two. Great combination from the Cuban. Fair to say, Yusinov retaliates as quickly as possible. Good exchanges from both boxers. But it's the total of the three rounds. And being two ahead means that more work needs to come from Yunusov of Tajikistan. Oh, a thundering right there from the Cuban. And this could be the first upset of the semi-finals. It's all pretty much gone to script and plan so far. But with one minute 20 left on the clock, Anya Yusinov. As we said at the beginning of this competition, the star of the World Series of Boxing draft here 24 hours ago is up against it with this talented young Cuban. Okay, in those fast hands that we were talking of, still. And another good combination, jab and hook. And again, Alvarez is putting these points together. Small warning there from the referee for holding for Unisov. <laughs> 30 seconds left on the clock. And Anya Yusinov, Asian champion, Asian Games champion, now starts to try and show his strength. He's not getting through the guard, is he? Alvira is looking a little tired towards the end of this bout. Is that an opportunity for the red corner to get back into it? Three seconds left. There goes the bell. What a great fight from the youngster, the least experienced of the two boxers. In the second semi-final of the men's bantamweight. And I've got the Cuban ahead here in the commentary box. And let's see if the judges agree. And he's through, the youngster from Cuba continues to turn heads and rewrite the record books, a great performance, he's done it again, he's been knocking out seeded boxers throughout the whole of this competition, 18-13, ranked 6, Anya Yusinov goes out in the semi-finals, will have to settle for the bronze as Lazaro Alvarez of Cuba will go up against Luke Campbell in the final of the men's bantamweight here in Baku tomorrow.